Hello, I'm Jane Marvine, and I play English horn in the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. And I'm going to help you listen like a musician. You just heard the famous theme from Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 2. Born into a musical family of the Russian aristocracy in 1873, he began studying the piano at age four and graduated from the Moscow Conservatory at the age of 19. His career has three components, composer, performer, and conductor. There are many outstanding elements to his music, the emotional aspect, and the complexity of his harmonies, the brilliance of his orchestration. But perhaps the most compelling is his gift for melody. His melodies are so appealing, they have transcended the concert hall and touched the world of popular music. Shortly after he died, the melody you just heard from his piano concerto was transformed by Buddy Kay and Ted Mossman into a popular song called Full Moon and Empty Arms. Frank Sinatra made it a hit song in 1945. Let me play this melody as Frank Sinatra sang it. Rachmaninoff began writing his Symphony No. 2 in 1906. At this time, he also performed his second piano concerto in Paris with tremendous success. The symphony was premiered in 1908 to awards and acclaim. The recognition he received at this time in his life lifted a depression he was experiencing and led to a tour of the United States performing his own compositions in 1909. This symphony is an example of how Rachmaninoff uses instruments of the orchestra as solo voices that emerge from the thick texture to create an intimate and meaningful expression that touches the heart. In the first movement, the English horn is left alone, singing a poignant tune filled with sorrow and despair. This serves as a transition to a new mood of happiness and contentment. Take a listen to this moment. In 1917, when the Russian Revolution began, Rachmaninoff fled Russia and eventually came to the U.S. a year later, seeking financial security after being courted by numerous U.S. orchestras. He and his family settled in New York City to a secure life performing, conducting, and recording around the world. He moved to Beverly Hills in 1942 for health reasons and became a U.S. citizen in 1943. Tragically, 
He died one month later from melanoma at the age of 70. Rachmaninoff's music is performed widely throughout the world and has been used extensively in films. He remains one of the most popular composers of all time. I hope you enjoy the encore performance of his masterpiece, Symphony No. 2 in E minor. <laughs> 